In this video, I'm going to show you how to create starting positions for your sprites in every project. If you learned something from watching this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. The most important blocks that you'll use to give your sprite starting positions are the when green flag is clicked block and the go to block. 99% of the time, these are going to be the blocks you'll want, and let me explain why. When green flag is clicked is found in the events palette, and this is going to be the block that you'll use in nearly every sprite as its entry point. Think of this block like a director yelling action to the actors on a movie set. Except in our case, the actors are the sprites that are waiting for the green flag to be clicked. So when the sprites receive this event, they immediately need to know where to go and what to do. And here's where the go to block comes into play. So in the motion palette, I can use the go to block to tell my sprite where its starting position is. Now I can type in the X and Y coordinates manually, but the easier way is to move the sprite wherever you want it to start, and then that'll automatically fill in the inputs, and now you drag it into your programming area. If I want Abby to start in the intersection, all I need to do is once again grab the when green flag is clicked block, go back to the motion palette, and once I have her in position, I can drag in the go to block. So now no matter where the sprites end up, let me drag them somewhere else, when I click the green flag, they'll both go to their correct starting positions. If you want your sprites to start at a random position, then you can use the go to random position block. You pretty much never want to use the glide block though, because when you use that block, the character will glide for one second into position and it just looks a little odd. So try to stick with the go to block. The last thing I want to mention is that if you have your sprite disappear at the end of a script, then you have to make sure that in the looks palette, you start off by showing the sprite. So you might actually want to have the sprite go to the correct position and then show up. But normally these steps will happen really quickly.